Hello everyone. In previous videos you've seen me use uh, many of the different types of selection tools. Uh, these are the standard rectangle, ellipse, and there are some quick shape selection tools. There is the freehand selection polygon, polygon and magnetic selection tools, and not to mention the magic wand. But you've never seen me use the option called paint to select. So I'm going to demonstrate that here. The first thing we want to do is choose a paintbrush. I'm going to go for a brush that is hard edged instead of soft. And uh, I'm going to zoom in to this area of the picture and I'm going to select this cloud. So we have our paintbrush. Now right now it's at 6, so we're going to increase the size to maybe 15. That's a little better. And we're going to go up here to Select, and we're going to choose Paint to Select. Now there are some options with Paint to Select, but they're really just about uh, showing you a color uh, and the opacity of the color that will represent the selection. And then you can have a color for I suppose unselected areas, but that you won't probably use very often. So we have paint to select turned on, and you simply start painting with your paintbrush. I want to select this cloud, so I'm going to run right along the border here and get as much of it as I can. Running right along the edge. This is just an alternate method of selection that uh, is actually quite useful because you can fine tune a selection with a paintbrush often more easily than you can using the selection tools. And we'll just go up here, close that off, and then fill it in. If you want to erase some of the painted selection. You would do that exactly the same way using the erase tool down here. The standard eraser will allow you to erase this red. And once you have this all filled in, you can of course change the brush size again and perhaps go down here and get this piece here. Go around in here, grab this stuff, just like this. And as soon as you go back to select and turn this off, you will see that you have a selection of the area you just painted. If you go back up and say, paint to select again, this will still be here, and you can continue on by reducing the size of the brush again. And maybe I'll grab this area out here. A little bit of this. Some of this. Like that. And I can even go outside of this, paint in some of this up here. Like that. Grab some of this. And when I go back to Paint Select, these have been added also. As I said, it's just an alternate method for selecting something specific in a uh, photograph. Uh, so I hope that helps.